In today's lesson, we're going to go ahead and start adding some assets from the asset store or wherever you want to get them from. We're going to start adding them to our game. Now, to spare the hours of me browsing the asset store, figuring out exactly what I wanted for my game, I've gone ahead and downloaded some things already. So let's start off with the skybox. Any skybox will do. In this case, I went with the purple nebula. And inside we have the material and of course all six textures for the skybox itself. And everyone should be familiar with adding a skybox to your scene, right? You just grab the material, drag it in. Uh, if you select it, you can go ahead, play with the exposure to make it darker or lighter. You can also rotate it. And if you have the lighting window open up as well, which of course opened up on a different monitor, uh, you can also go ahead and drag it in up here as well. I'm going to take my directional light, put it in there as well for the sun, at least for now. Right, so we've got our skybox added. Looks like I might want to change this to a lighter colored font now, but we can do that after. I actually forgot to grab fonts. All right, next up, asteroids. Well, let's just go down the list. For my player ship, I went and grabbed the Astral Stars Ship Package 1, and it comes with a bunch of different prefabs that we can go ahead and play around with. I only need one. I'm not sure which one I'm going to grab. That one looks pretty cool. I also like the fighter. It really doesn't matter. You go ahead and grab one. Uh, the main thing I'm looking at is that it doesn't have any scripts already on it. And if it does, I'm going to get rid of them because we have our own scripts to put on them. Let's quickly go through the rest. Elements is just the particles that I've been using. Uh, free droid. This is what I'm going to use for my enemy. And again, just free droid on the asset store. These are the things that are going to be zipping around shooting at me. Uh, packs is just some music. I grabbed the Zero Gravity Pack. All of these assets are free, by the way. Uh, there, there's some paid ones I really like that I'm probably going to go ahead and implement into mine later on. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and just keep everything free. I think I'm going to go with the, the, the Gravity 5. Uh, you're not going to be able to hear it because I can't record game audio right now, but that's probably the one I'm going to go ahead and play around with. And packs too, just rocks, yeah, the rocks. So I went ahead and grabbed some rocks. These are what I'm gonna use for asteroids. I couldn't find any free asteroids, so rocks work just as good, right? We might have to go ahead and play with the colliders a little bit on them, but other than that, we should be fine. And we've already looked at skyboxes, great. So let's go ahead and um, let's replace my asteroids first. I'm actually gonna come in, grab my asteroid. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag one into the scene here. Great, I also want to look at my Asteroid Manager. Was it an array for Asteroids? Uh, looks like I just had one. Of course, remember we could go ahead and make this uh, an array and add multiple ones if you want. But for now, I'm just going to stick to the one. Uh, was it Pack 2 for the Shiny Rocks? And let's go ahead and pick one. Uh, that one's okay. Not quite what I'm looking for. And now you see why I went ahead and did the asset store part off scene. It would just take me forever. I think I'm going to go with four or five or six. <laughs> uh, I kind of like that one too. Let's, let's just do this one. I'll be there forever if I don't hurry up and pick one. All right, so I've got this. Uh, I want it pretty close. I'm actually going to go ahead and zero them all out as far as position goes. Just so I have them close by each other. I'm going to have to probably play around with the scale, but we'll do that in a bit. Let's just go ahead and at least, let's at least go ahead and get the asteroid set up. Maybe we'll go ahead and set each one up individually in a different video. That way, if you've already got your player ship set up, you don't have to sit there and watch me dink around with it for a half an hour. Well, it wouldn't take me a half an hour, but you get the idea. All right, so I'm going to move this to the side. Wow, it's quite a bit bigger than... Um, what I have set up for my asteroid, but that's fine. We can go ahead and grab the actual mesh. If we open up the mesh, oops, sorry, it's right here, the, the rock eight. We can come in here and actually shrink this down. So let's do a scale factor of 0.5. That'll reduce it down a bit. I actually want a bigger asteroid anyway. I felt the others were too small. And they are gonna be scaled anyway. We can always change the spacing. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at that. I think I had some scale applied, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and we'll shrink this down to one by one by one. A little closer. It's pretty close to what I wanted. Maybe a bit, bit smaller. 
So let's try having what we have already. So we'll bring it down to a quarter. There we go. That's actually probably pretty close to what I'm really looking for. All right, so great. Uh, I'm gonna call this Asteroid 8. Actually, let's call it Asteroid Rock 8. Just so I know, you know, it's supposed to be my Asteroid Prefab, but at the same time, it comes from the Rock 8 Shiny Rock. Great, so let's go ahead and copy stuff over. So I'm gonna need a Asteroid script and an Explosion script. And I am curious, the Asteroid script, do I make Explosion a prereq? If not, let's go ahead and do that. I disallowed multiple components, but I didn't make it a required type. And let's go ahead and use that square bracket. Required component, type of, and explosion. Now we're there, when we add the asteroid script, we automatically get the explosion one. And of course, we, oops, I put that in the explosion one. <laughs> we wanted the asteroid one. That's fine. Asteroid will come up to the top, and we did not have it there. Put it there, and while we're at it, we really should get in the habit of using the disallow multiple component as well if we don't want to have more than one of these scripts on there. Anyway, enough of that. I didn't plan on actually doing any scripting in this one. <laughs> we're going to grab the asteroid rock. Now we drop the asteroid script on it. We're going to get the explosion script, and we're also going to get the asteroid scale script. And we do need to add some sort of collider to it which is fine. We can add multiple ones to it. I think I'm just gonna to try to fit it all into one for now. But let's go ahead and grab that asteroid. I'm gonna grab the values for here. So if I right click, uh, copy component, come back down here, for explosion, paste component values. There we go. It grabbed everything that it needed. Come back up here. Just wanna make sure, see. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll stick with the values we've been using so far. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the component again, come back in here, the asteroid script, it paste the values. And I think we're probably actually gonna to wanna to, uh, change these scales, but we'll go ahead and we'll check after. So let's go ahead, we add a collider to this one. Um, so what kind do we want here? Box collider might be the best. Again, we could go with the compound collider like we did before, but I'm just going to try to get really simple with this one, just to speed things along. Just if a capsule collider might be better. I'll just go with the box collider. No, box collider does not look like it's going to work. Capsule collider, we might be able to get the capsule collider to work. There we go, we've accomplished most of it. Like I said, you're probably better off going with a compound collider because we're gonna have so many of these, but that's fine. I'm happy with this. Except I am missing a lot right there. But anyway, let's go ahead, we'll save that off. I'm gonna save that into the asteroid prefab that we had before. Place it. I'm going to go ahead and just rid of that one. Well, actually, if we take a look, since I replaced it, it went ahead and updated it. Uh, so we'll just delete it. Go ahead, delete the other one. Let's play around with the spacing. And let's start the game up. So we are going to have to play around with uh, the spacing because I think that's going to be too hard to fly around in. I've already got hit. So let's go ahead and space things out just a little bit more. And that would be the Asteroid Manager. So let's see, do we already have that one open up? Yep, yeah, here we go. And we'll go up here, Grid Spacing, which I made public. So we'll go ahead and we'll adjust that. It was 25 before, let's double it to 50. Uh, hit play, there we go. And again, if we make it an array so we can have multiple prefabs for it, I think it's gonna look much better. Damn, I gotta really change how much I get knocked around. All right, so we've got that done. That was actually pretty quick. Uh, but again, that capsule collider, let me go ahead and fly into a few of them. Let's just see. <laughs> Hit it straight on. 
Uh, we'll try it again. I guess I should get rid of that wall. There we go. We might... Well, when we go ahead and adjust our ship, we're not going to have a whole bunch of clatters to go off on us. We'll try it one more time. But it does start to look pretty cool, doesn't it? It actually looks like a game. All right. So we're going to go ahead. We'll save this one off here. We'll come back and um, set up another mob. Anyway, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You'd be a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>